good guys, Michael Randoms here and today I am giving you guys a little tutorial on how to make simple cheap cannons to get into simple bases. So I'm gonna give two really really easy ones and the third one is gonna be a little bit more advanced but still not too hard and yeah. Let's start off, let's start off with the first one, let's see. Um, if, if you see a base like this, um, that only has like one wall, just a little bit of water protection, you can get easily in uh, like this with this super easy, super cheap cannon. So what do you want to do? You want to make a little platform. Uh, I suggest not making your platform on the ground. I uh, suggest you would build it a little higher, like five blocks up, depending on how, how it, on how high the base is. Um, so all you need is what I have in my inventory right now, you don't need the cobble, uh, you need a random block just to build with, in this case I'm going to use iron because it's just really clean, uh, normal redstone dust, redstone repeaters, um, to be correct, nine. The only, um, the only amount of repeaters you need is 9 repeaters, so yeah, like I said, cheap cannon, uh, a button, slabs, water, and a piece of glass or the glowstone whatever block that does not give out um, like redstone signals so And like I said, it's super super simple. Uh, here you go. Uh, make sure if you put the nine repeaters down, you put them on third tick, so the rest of the signal uh, gets a little late over there, just so the block um, of sand and the TNT get shot get shot on the same time. What do I mean by that? I'll show you guys. You need one piece of TNT. You need some sand, and you should be good. So let me show you. You put TNT like this and the sand like this. Then the barrel I made is quite important if you don't use the barrel. Um, you might be a little screwed, uh, but I suggest always making this unless it's the base is like super near. But if, if you don't use this, I can show you guys. Let's show it without the barrel. Uh, so I'm going to fill this up with TNT. Like I said, no dispensers. It is a cheap cannon. So you want to use it like this. And the reason why 9 nine of the third tick repeaters is because if you do it earlier the scent is not going to get shot so let me show you guys that again um, the, the TNT uh, the sand obviously flew over which is a bad thing because you want it to stack uh, you guys know how a hip brick cannon works uh, <laughs> sand kind of like glitches the uh, TNT into the block and it kind of ignores the water if you do like if you do it like that what Oh, this is, I've been messing around a lot on the server, so <laughs> if you see anything like that, just just ignore it. Anyways, um, now I'm going to show you guys how it is with a barrel. So if you block this up, uh, I want to go like this. You can still like move it down one more if it doesn't uh, reach the water. Like I said, if you would not use this glass, this TNT is going to get activated before it comes here, so you would be completely screwed to be honest. So let's see. Also, this is not always simple. Sometimes you just have to uh, make a decent cannon. This isn't. This is not gonna work like all the time. Uh, as you see right now, uh, the sand lands first. That is something that can happen a lot. Um, that's why I said also that this cannon is not perfect. But like I said, you can play around with the tick. You can play around with the power. You can play around with everything like that. So you can just keep on stacking like that, and it will eventually fix itself. Uh, let's say you want to go with a lower barrel, which would be like this. It's gonna shoot like more like straight forward. This might actually fix a problem right now. I'm not sure. Um, so obviously there are tricks that you shoot the TNT first uh, and then the sand landing on it. But like I said, 
it's a simple cannon. I'm gonna show it like this, uh, and let me do a few shots until. <laughs> Welcome back. I've been uh, messing around a little bit and I did have a little bit of trouble uh, with the sand in the TNT. I don't know why exactly. Um, but yeah, if you're really, really in trouble, what you can do, what you can always do, is uh, go like this. It's not really scattered what you would do with a more advanced cannon. But I mean, this works quite decently. Um, let me show you guys again. Let me get to wand or wand. Set. Here we go. So let's show that again. If you if you put tree in there, you have like a bigger chance on actually getting in. Uh, just because more TNT explodes and there's more chance to actually land some sand. So let's uh, do that again. Here we go. I mean, mostly it's it's gonna work. As we see, here we go. That actually worked quite easily. Um, so yeah, this is the first cannon, and let's get to the second one. So guys, for the second cannon, um, the, the second cannon is actually one I use all the time. So the second cannon is going to be really, really useful if it's like an underground base um, that is like not claimed, that has no water protection. Uh, even if it does have water protection, this is still super, super useful. I use it all the time, as I said before. And like I said, really cheap to do as well. And yeah, it's basically just super, super useful. And I am 100% sure you're gonna use it as well. So I wanna start off making, uh, at least setting one slab. And then you wanna go like this. Uh, I wanna go like this. You wanna make sure you have space uh, for two blocks. The water has to be here and it has to flow this way. So you go like this, go like this. Oh, put two blocks like that. Cool. and like that this is how easy it is and how cheap it actually is and then you just want to stack as many pistols as you want to uh, as much as you think it how fast it's gonna go um, also you want to make sure to go like this because if there is some server lag or something goes wrong it is gonna throw the TNT on that block and you're gonna be quite screwed and basically just do that all the time even on a server that has no lag or at least proves it has no lag so the uh, idea of this is activating TNT in here, then you can choose how much TNT you shoot with this. This is super useful like I said before. Uh, you go through, go through this in seconds and yeah. Let me show you guys, uh, I'm gonna do this command TNT fill 64, I'm gonna do it two times. Oh, only one slash, here we go. Uh, just because on Woodycraft we do have this plugin that uh, fills it with TNT immediately. So let me show you guys. Here we go. One, and you can, for the first time we're gonna go with one, hopefully it's not gonna blow up, or a cannon. Perfect. So like I said, it is going to go really, really quickly. You can go like with a lot of TNT as well. Um, hopefully that is not going to blow up or a cannon. But here we go. Uh, you can also like scatter super, super, use, uh, super, super fast with this. And basically, you can change everything you want to, man. Like, you just... Um, it's not automatic, but like I said, still super useful. And you go true underground bases in seconds. So let's go with La for now. See, so yeah, I'll can a little further until... And here we are guys, that is how easy this goes, uh, like I said, super easy, super useful, use this please, don't set up two like super expensive cannons for something this easy. Also you can still add more power, uh, just so you guys know, but then you have to watch out with this button, you can go like this, 
But like I said, then it gets a little tricky, so just stay with this, um, and you should be quite good to All go. Alright guys, so for the third and last cannon, um, if what you need is this. You might, you might need a little more, but um, like I said, I'm not going to go over it right now. So this base is a little bit more advanced. This one has two walls and then the actual base. Actually, two walls. You can still do this with the preview, like with the first cannon I showed you guys, but that's gonna go really, really slow, and I don't recommend that. Now, this cannon might uh, look a little bit more confusing and stuff, but like I said, just try it. Once you know how to do it, it is super simple. Um, so you're gonna wanna go with this. Actually, I'm gonna go like that, and yeah, uh, just gonna build it, <laughs> and yeah, when it's done, I'll like. Uh, Cannon and let me uh, explain a little bit about it um, just so you guys know this is still a quite basic cannon uh, like I said just try this out please go in single player demolish your world do whatever but uh, let me explain a little bit so this are the pistons you're gonna throw the sand with uh, shoot the sand with at least uh, you want to get this on nine ticks so that means I mean that doesn't really mean but that, that's just my uh, vocabulary okay <laughs> you want to get nine repeaters like this, and all you want to set all of them to the uh, third tick, so it's as late as possible, uh, still together with the TNT. What I did at the TNT um, is I made a scatter, which means this is a comparator, and you, how you want to do it? Okay, let me do it because this was really confusing to me as well. These are repeaters; these are, these are comparators. If you want to shoot one piece of TNT, or you want all the, you want them four to shoot um, like one piece of TNT, you want to do it as usual. You don't want to get this. You just take the repeater like that, and it will be normal. But in my case, I'm going to use a comparator, which does this. Uh, make sure. So if you want to do this, okay, let's remove that just so you guys don't get confused. You want to tr put three pieces of redstone just like this next to it, like this. Then you put on the button so it kind of shines, so it becomes like a redstone torch. And then you just connect one of these with the redstone um, dust. Uh, if you use this, it does not really matter uh, what tick you have. I mean, it never really matters unless the base is like really, really, really far ahead. Um, so let me show you guys. This gets activated. All the TNT comes out, and this throws, this throws the sand in, and that should actually shoot it. Again, I have worked with a big barrel, otherwise the TNT uh, or the sand is going to get messed up. So let me do the command again, TNT fill, just wrote that, TNT fill 64, and it's at one slash, god damn it. I'm confused of world of it, because let's put in three stacks in each, cool, and uh, with the sand you can go like this. Uh, you can just like fill it up. I'm, I'm not gonna use well it. Normally if I make cannons up here I, I would use that but just for the sake of this video I'm not gonna. So you can go like this. So this uh, activates all of that TNT and it shoots all of it. So basically 
Well, in this case, we would be almost through the first wall already. Um, so like I said, really, really effective cannon. I don't really know what went wrong. I think there was not enough uh, sand. But that's actually good, because for the next part of what I wanted to show, is that with sand, you can mess around. And if it's like a big wall, you have to stack a lot, like this is higher in the sky, and you have to do, you have to get like your whole cannon up in the sky, you really definitely want to use uh, cobwebs. Uh, cobwebs allow you to like stack a lot of sand, like really a lot of sand. I do it in this way, uh, other people do it in another way, uh, it doesn't really matter. So you just want to stack this up really quickly. So what you do if you got this, you just break these two. Wait until all the sand fall da falls down, and you want to shoot it. So you're gonna see a lot of t a lot of sand is gonna get thrown up. Oh, I see what went wrong. So like I said, you have to play around yourself with T cannon. If you see it's not working, just check what's wrong. In this case, I've seen that the the uh, sand goes out a little too early. So what are we going to do? We are gonna put one more repeater. So the redstone signal goes like one tick later. I don't really know does not really matter that much and yeah just want to stack once again let's go like this let's just do them separate that might be a little faster but anyways I'll uh, cannon and I'll see you guys when we uh, what you might have as well is that you overstack the sand I did not, I, in my case I didn't really overstack it, uh, we're still good, no problem. Uh, but if you have that, just keep on shooting, don't give up, um, just shoot and shoot until that one pillar you overstacked gets removed. What I'm going to do is remove a little bit of TNT, because there's way too much power. Uh, I think we're actually really close to being in, um, so yeah, let me stack some more sand, I think this should do to be honest. Because this base would normally be a one shot. Here we go. That's way than way, way uh, than more enough power. So as you see, one shot, a lot of power. Um, and you just want to repeat this process until you are. Uh, stacked it a little bit. I hope we didn't overstack it. Let's hope. Let's break to cave him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's rewire this. Let's get this. Actually, I'm gonna gonna get less sand in, just so it uh, doesn't ruin it. Here we go. Here we go. This is the moment of the truth. Let's see. I think it's gonna hit the sand. I'm not sure. But no, we did a good, we did a good job, guys. We got rid of the first wall, and it stacked some sand on the second one. This is perfect. This means we can just continue as uh, what we were doing. Just like that, and go like this. So I think we're through the uh, second wall as well right now. Yes, a great. A lot of explosions and this is the actual base I think this is the actual base yes it is so one more wall uh, which is one of the actual base so yeah we'll see actually I should get my cobwebs here we go let's do the scent manually as well because like I said I really don't want to mess up right now uh, and then if you did that you want to check again like is there a scent already is there not you want to get through this first? I don't really know. I'm gonna go with TNT and sand at the same time because I believe we can get through this quite easily. I think this shot should actually be um, through the whole base. Here we go. Are we through? Yes. And guys, this is how easy you can raid bases. You're in. And what? 
I think we're true in like 10 minutes which is quite long because I, I had a little bit of trouble uh, but like I said guys here you go I hope you did enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe if you have not done that yet and yeah I hope you guys are gonna be able to use these cannons because they're really cheap, really uh, great, really, yeah, just efficient to use as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.